this part, this part right here. This is the trickiest part you're gonna make in all this series. Um, it's not too tricky to cut, but it's tricky to program or to know how to program. But that's what I'm here for. We'll do it together. So, just like before, we open iGems, open samples, and open the CAD modify. So, what's tricky about this part is that we have to add some CAD geometry into this drawing. For instance, this arc here. We have to draw an arc. I use uh, short key E for using the end point, N for near, and end point again. That will create a CAD vector which is right here. Um, I also want to use this zero fillet. Head in here, click on this line and this line. That will create a sharp corner right here so that I can connect these lines right here. I'm also going to draw endpoint, endpoint, a line here which will help with the vectors when I make a toolpath. There's also an issue here, which I have to use the extend command, this line to this surface, that will extend this line. I will also do that to that line, and then I can connect from endpoint, endpoint, like that. And now the last thing we're gonna do is some lines for this hole. Because it's gonna be very tricky to cut when it's like this without any guides. So we have a project command. If I click on this, it asks for a curve. So I wanna project this and this. Done up to this uh, plane or surface and then I want to extend it in this direction, the direction of the center of the hole. That will create this line or this arc. And as we can see, if we look straight up from above, it looks really good. So let's start cut this. Or wait. Let's start making curves first. So we're going to pick edges. Let's select this edge. When you see it looks like this, this is the line I selected. It's selected blue. Um, the next line, which um, the computer tells me is going to be the next line, is, is highlighted yellow. And if I click on N, short key N, it will select that line. That will make it a lot easier. Let's say we have um, I think I'm gonna make another line. Yeah, uh, line end point end point. Like that. Uh, head over to cam curves. We already have that one. Pick edges. This. This is highlighted. N, 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 N. You get what I'm saying? It's a lot easier. Um, so next thing is this. Next, next, next. I can also, because I don't have a line that's going across here. I can choose line here. And then I go from this point. I can use right click, end point to that position. Done. Next, next, next. Now it selects this line. I want this. Oh, I didn't select that one. All right. A few moments later. Huh. So what it did was it selected this, and I want this, not the short segment there. Next, next, next. That's perfect.
I also want that line to be marked. So now we have this, 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 and this. We need one more. Pick edges and we're gonna select this arc. Like that. Let's head over to toolpath. We will start with the open contours. So add, start with the arc from here to here, enter. And I'm gonna select, it's gonna snap in a tangent. So I, I want it right there, enter, enter. And from here, I should also say this is cut from uh, like a sheet of metal. So we always want to cut the engagements going to be from the top here. And when you select the bottom curve, you want a fixed C. And that C is automatically going to be positioned uh, at the top of the material. And when you're using that, you want the tool to table to the plane or to the lower, tool to table to the lower. Um, so that's the first cut. Let's go with this from here. Enter to go all the way around this side. I don't have a bottom curve, so I hit enter, start, finish. This is, it's not tricky, but it, you just have to know the features here. This is going straight down because it's a fixed cut, but a fixed cut doesn't always have to go straight down. It can also go at an angle. So click on this button right here and you can select, this is our vector that's going through the hole and like that. It's going straight through. It's a fixed cut with an angle. I also noticed that I forgot to add a curve here so I can click here surfaces or wait let's go with edges this thing toolpath let's add this like that all right Other curve here. I'm also gonna add this curve and plus this from here to here, and then the bottom contour is gonna be that one. Like that. And now let's finish this off going on this this direction, that's the bottom curve, start, finish. I think this looks pretty good. So we're starting off with this cut, heading up to this hole, this hole, then we cut this side right here. Yeah. And lastly, it's this cut right here. Looks good here. Also, right here. Yeah, let's, let's close this. Create, okay. Let's see what it looks like in a 3D simulation. There's something in the in the end here. So what you can do if you find like there's an error in in this programming, you can head over to Toolpath and go to Cut Four, which is our outer cut. On the rule here, you can click on the pen. 
you can edit these connections. So we, I noticed that there was something uh, happening here at the end. And if we look at this, something is like not perfect here. So I can add extra connection lines by hitting plus from here. And now look what happens to this area. Looks good from here to here. That looks a lot better. And that looks good throughout this part now. So if there's anything, like any problem that you see in the, in the um, simulation, you can always go back and try to fix those problems here. I'll hit done and close. Close. Let's just very quickly have a look at the bottom part of this segment. Okay, here. Let's just see if this looks better. Yeah, so that fixed the problem. All right, that's our last thing for this sample. Hope you enjoyed it.